crab scuttling on a table, a jellyfish swimming behind a desk, and a sandcastle that you can build right in your notebook? Did our classroom sink to the bottom of the sea? Nope! Mermaid just came to our school and brought her sea school supplies along. It seems like Dolly is having trouble. She just can't sharpen her pencil. Her pencil sharpener breaks everything in its path. But all of a sudden, an unusual desk neighbor appears by her. No way! It's Mermaid! She came to school in a water elevator. The sea princess wants to gain some earthly knowledge. Plus, she has a nice pencil sharpener. Paint seashells pink. Add accents with pearl paint. Coat a pencil sharpener with white acrylic paint and add some pearl paint on top. Hot glue it between the seashells like a pearl. And attach the other seashell to it. Decorate it with half beads and rhinestones. The pearl inside this beautiful seashell turned out to be a marine pencil sharpener. It does a great job! Dolly's pencils are finally sharp! And Mr. Sebastian has a problem too! He is particularly clumsy today. It looks like the paper clips are jumping out of his hands. The girls want to help their clumsy teacher. Mermaid remembers an old friend of hers. Cute Crab, the keeper of paper clips. Make marks on wooden skewers using a marker. Slightly break them where you put marks so that you get a crab leg. Make six legs and hot glue them to a round container. Cut two claws out of styrofoam. Attach them to the front with hot glue. Put a light clay ball onto a piece of toothpick and hot glue it to the container as eyes. Color the crab with red acrylic paint. You can keep paper clips inside. Dolly carefully sneaks the crab onto the teacher's desk. Oh my god! What kind of creature is this? It turns out that our brave Sebastian is afraid of crabs. The claws make him jump onto a bookcase. Get down! Are you a teacher or a rock climber? This crab won't hurt you. It's just a paperclip holder. Sebastian courageously overcomes his fears. Now paperclips will live inside the crab. Class is starting! The girls open their notebooks, and Mermaid has a little beach in her notebook instead of notes. Glue the pages in a hardcover notebook from the outside. Cut a square inside. And glue its walls. Fill it with kinetic sand. Compact it well. Cut colored cardboard into circles using a scrapbooking hole puncher. Hot glue the circles to the cover so that it looks like scales. Decorate the notebook with a glittering foam rubber sheet star. Wow! There is a beach in this notebook! The girls forget that they are in class because you can even make a sandcastle sitting right at your desk. Let's build some walls and fortify the towers. It's a practical class on the architecture of castles. And when the teacher notices us playing, we will show him that it's just a notebook. We are working hard on our notes. Mermaid even has a special marker. It's made out of a coral. Cut a thin stick of hot glue into pieces at an angle. Hot glue the sticks to a marker. Shape it like a sea coral. Make it more 3D with hot glue. And cover the coral with purple pearl acrylic paint when the glue is dry. 
Dolly thinks her friend's marker is amazing. She adores coral school supplies. But this marker doesn't write on paper for some reason. It only leaves marks on sand. Mr. Sebastian doesn't like this sand art in class. He takes the girl's sand castle away. And the coral, too. But only to play with it himself. Mermaid amazes her desk neighbor in art class again. She uses a white seashell for mixing paints. Draw a seashell outline on a paint palette using hot glue. Paint the palette with white when the glue is dry. And cover it with matte acrylic polish. A seashell paint palette is a very handy tool. But Mermaid forgot about a very important thing. She doesn't have a cup for water. Because when she's at home, water is all around her. So she doesn't need a separate cup there. Dolly will help her friend out. She has a cup that Mermaid will like for sure. This is a cup with seaweed. Cut a tapering strip off a soft foam sheet. Put a piece of thin wire in the middle and hot glue the strip to it. Twist the piece to make a spiral. Hot glue the colored spiral to a spill-proof paint cup. Decorate the cup with sequins, pearls, and sea salt. Mermaid loves this cup! Now she can paint with all the colors of the sea. According to our schedule, we have geography class next. Sebastian asks us to fill in our outline maps. We use crayons and draw sea borders. But apparently an earthquake happened because all of the teacher's crayons are broken. That's all right. Mermaid quickly turns the crayons into a funny starfish. Melt a crayon in a microwave. Pour it into a starfish mold. Fill in one segment. Fill the remaining segments with melted crayons of different colors and cover it with a yellow layer on top. Take the starfish out of the mold when the wax hardens. Even out the edges with a utility knife. Mermaid sea magic worked! Sebastian has never drawn with a starfish before, but it turned out to be very handy. Thank you, Mermaid! Sea school supplies keep surprising Dolly. Mermaid fishes out her pencil case from underneath the desk in art class. Holy shark! There's an actual jellyfish! We will need an oval clear pencil case. Cut a template out of paper to be the same shape as the pencil case. Trace the template on a clear zip file bag. Cut two pieces, leaving allowances for fastening. Wipe off the marker. Put the pieces onto each other and wrap them in parchment paper. Seal the edges with an iron. Leave a little hole. Mix glycerin with coloring. Add glitter and sequins. Mix it and pour it into the clear pocket. Seal the hole. Cut off the excess and hot glue the glittering pocket to the pencil case. Decorate the edges with a string of sequins. Melt the ends of an organza ribbon. Pass a thread through it so that it is gathered. That's a jellyfish tentacle. Make tentacles from white and blue ribbons. Hot glue them to the case. Dolly likes this jellyfish case a lot. It's so beautiful. You can definitely dive into the ocean of knowledge with this pencil case. Dolly is mesmerized by the jellyfish. Right till the moment Mermaid takes out her glue stick. Take a glue stick out of its tube. Divide it into three parts. Mash each part. Add coloring and put in glitter. Mix mermaid colors. Put the glue back into the tube layer by layer. Create a sea wave pattern. Wipe off the excess with a Q-tip. 
This glue stick is made out of sea waves. Dolly wants to glue everything around her with it. She loves mermaid school supplies so much that she wants to have the entire sea collection to herself. Regular school supplies won't do. The school day is so long, Mermaid already misses the sea, but her friend came up with a way to cheer her up. She calls Mermaid's old friend Flounder. Cover an oval eraser in a container with light yellow clay. Shape a fish. Mark the fins and the pattern. Shape two bottom fins and hot glue them. Color the details with acrylic paints. What a great surprise! Flounder, how did you manage to find me in this classroom? Mermaid is very excited to see him. Plus, the fish helps her erase her mistakes. What a nice day! Mermaid is happy that she went to school and made new friends. Did you like our marine school supplies? Then write in the comments which mermaid school supplies you would take to school. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new fairy tale ideas on Troom Troom.